What is going on guys? Devious Marine 30 here back with another video and I know I have not made a video in a very long time um, but um, having a new Call of Duty, especially a new Treyarch Call of Duty coming out has me actually so excited and I honestly cannot wait um, but if you guys want to like find out information on the new game just search YouTube there's other things I'm not really going to go too into it about that but basically the new uh, game coming out this year Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is a direct sequel to Call of Duty Black Ops 1 which came out I believe off the top of my head I want to say 2010 that could be wrong um, but um, if you guys know me I've been playing Call of Duty since 2008 ish so almost uh, like 12 years or pretty much almost 12 years coming up this November um, obviously a huge fan fanboy I guess I should say but um, I remember playing Black Ops um, very very well and um, the campaigns and everything were always so good for it. and I love the story of this and I haven't played it in a very long time but the kind of theme and the um, genre uh, and uh, I guess not genre technically but the whole theme of like the next game is kind of going to be taking place in the same area I think this game takes place in the 1960s ish um, and the new game is going to be taking place in 1980 so a little bit after that but I'm sure it's going to have a lot of flashbacks and different things relating to this game um, so yeah I just wanted to kind of go and play through the whole campaign again because it's so sick and Dude, I still remember the first time like loading up into uh, whoops loading up into um, the uh, menu here and being able to actually like turn around and all this and having this on PC now is insane I played this on the PlayStation 3 and it was 30 frames and now just moving around in 144 Hertz is just absolutely insane but yeah man what an iconic game and just like a menu and it, dude it was so cool at, at, at its time and still is to this day nothing's really compared and all that so without further ado we're just gonna hop right into it we're probably uh, I don't know uh, I'm running to play through the whole campaign and upload um, all of them I know obviously there's gameplays and stuff on YouTube but I just kind of want to go give you guys my intake as I said I'm pretty much I'd consider myself a Call of Duty veteran at this point I have thousands and thousands of hours played on this game and like I said I've been playing over 12 years so I'm just gonna kind of throughout the series maybe talk about um, the new game and as stuff kind of gets released um, more information about the new game obviously talk about that and then obviously play this campaign because it's just absolutely amazing and i love the storyline and characters and all that um and yeah like i said let's uh just get right into it um yeah we're just gonna get right in i could do veteran i, I don't really like i said i just kind of do like a playthrough i'm not gonna go on anything I'll, I'll at least play it on regular i'm not gonna play it on recruit but yeah guys if you guys are excited for the new game let me know in the comment section below hit that like button all that um like i ha obviously haven't like really uploaded to my youtube channel in years and stuff but i just again for fun um just wanted to do it um the new game's coming out here soon, but guys, let's get right into it, man. Oh, I love the story. I love the story. Good old Mason, man. Where's Reznov? You will answer our questions. Do you understand? Who the hell are you? That's not important. What's important is who you are. What's your name? Fuck you. Where were you born? Kiss my ass. Ooh. Get the old shock treatment there, Mason. Mason. You were born in Fairbanks, Alaska. In 1961, you served in a CIA assassination team known as Operation 40. Is that correct? Ah! Is that correct? Yes. Where's the broadcast station? The numbers. I don't know what you're talking about. The numbers, Mason. Hmm. What do they mean? Where are they broadcast? I don't know from? anything about any numbers. What about Dragovich? Do you remember him? Give us what we want. We'll guarantee your safety. <laughs> Come on, Mason. Let's start at the beginning. Cuba, 1961, the Bay of Pigs. We know you were there. Good old Bay of Pigs, baby. So, what is going on, guys? Uh, welcome uh, again. Again, uh, if you guys notice that I'm wearing different clothes, it's because no. I basically screwed up the recording of the whole first episode, so I'm basically uh, playing through it again, secret. Um, so I love this game so much that I don't really mind it, but yeah, I kind of screwed up the recording, so I'm actually recording this on a different day. Uh, the footage and stuff was like super laggy because I'm playing on PC and didn't have the right settings on, so it was just a mess. So uh, we're going to play through it again uh, on here. But um, yeah, guys. Welcome, uh, as I said at the, the start here, um, I'm super excited for the series. I cannot wait to play this again. It's been like so many, so many years since I played it. And uh, yeah, I, I'm just really, really excited. Um, and we're starting it off here, going to Cuba, trying to kill Fidel Castro. If you guys have never played through this campaign, welcome. You guys are in for a treat. If you guys are watching this, let's play. I'm super excited to share this with you guys. I played this, I don't even remember when I was very young. I think this came out about 10 years ago. So I was about like 13, 12, 13 years old in my prime when it comes to Call of Duty. Been a while.
<laughs> Homie just got his hand stuck right in the table. My men will dispose of the bodies. Occupants leaving their vehicles armed with shotguns. Bolin, Carlos, lay down covering fire. We fight our way through the streets. Mason, on me. Let's go. All right. And here we go, guys. Just throwing right into it. I don't even know where these guys are at. We're supposed to be shooting. Uh, I forgot we have that grenade launcher. The good old noob tube. Love a good old noob tube, baby. Oh my god, is that Woods just eating all those bullets? Psychopath. What an absolute psycho. That's oh, Carlos. I'm gonna shot him. I should have my grenade launcher out still. Wait, what? Hostile down. I feel like the Bow Bowman's voice actor is a uh, is something in multiplayer. Oh my god, we are getting. Get in the whip. Oh, right mouse. Nice little stick shift. Pretty good graphics in the car, I'm not gonna lie. I like it, I like it. Oh my god. We're getting smoked. Oh, there goes Woods' cigar or something. Oh my god. That's insane. Mason, you escaped from the police. The Bay of Pigs had begun. You were heading for Castro's compound. We're losing him. Join the gap. We have no choice. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a compound. Carlos and his men should be in the airfield. Any minute. There's a signal. Now! Hook up. All right, let's do it. So, a uh, fun fact, too, if you guys did not know, if you guys have not really been paying attention to the Call of Duty Cold War um, stuff, um, the only thing that I'm kind of disappointed about so far is, obviously, Woods is such an iconic character for the Black Ops, like, franchise. Um, and, uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, you can hear the voice actor in this game. Um, he's, like, the mo obviously the normal, like, voice actor that we grew up loving Woods for, and unfortunately in the new game, even though Woods is in the game, um, the original voice actor is not in the game, uh, sadly. Um, so, yeah. Perfect, you're all focused on the airfield. Convoy ahead, do not... Engage. So, yeah, unfortunately he's not, it's not the, um normal voice actor <clears throat> but uh yeah i mean we still have woods um the character is still back the guy sounds pretty similar but it just sucks that they didn't bring the original characters back and i think since mason and hudson are both in uh call of duty black ops cold war um i don't think their original voice actors are coming back either which is really unfortunate uh, i would feel like activision would um realize how important those characters are to the franchise and and bring back the original voices. Um, even the like actor that actually plays Frank Woods, I don't remember his name, um, but even on like Twitter, he was talking about uh, he has no idea why he wasn't brought back to play Woods again. Um, so it's kind of weird. It's like a weird thing. I'm guessing it probably has something to do with money, like everything else. Even though Activision is has nowhere to complain about being or not having any money, um, those guys just ring you for all you have uh, with the DLC content. Although I do have to say that this past like year with Modern Warfare, they did make free DLC. But over the years, with the, even the supply drops and everything, they've made so much money that there's no way they can't or could not afford it. So I don't know. I re I'm not really uh, sure why they didn't bring bring the voice actor back. But yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to have uh, our voice actors. Um, Stay oh, close. Like, what are you looking at, Woods? So, yeah, kind of like looking at these guns and stuff. I think we're probably going to see a lot of similar guns in the new game. 
I know I I think um, so as the series goes on I'm not gonna be recording this all in one sitting so um, as the series goes on we're probably gonna find more information out about the new uh, game so I'll kind of try to translate that to you guys especially like after the multiplayer reveal um, and if there's possibly time where I can I actually get to play the game if there's like an alpha or something that comes out available to play um, I'm obviously going to be able to hopefully be able to do that So I'll kind of update you guys on more information as it comes out um, But as of right now of recording this the multiplayer reveal is in about in four days or so The only thing that we've really gotten so far is some leaked gameplay if you guys know who the streamer is uh, Doug is raw is he accidentally which I don't know if it was really an accident or how it happened but um, he started streaming one day when um, a lot of the streamers and uh, youtubers and uh, people uh, bigger up in the uh, Call of Duty community got to actually play the alpha early so I think I'm not sure how many maps it was uh, we don't really know too much information but basically Doug is raw um, went live for about seven minutes and um, unfortunately I was sleeping during the time it was live otherwise I would have recorded the whole thing but the only leaked gameplay that we could have or is what uh, people screen recorded basically of his stream and the only or the longest gameplay I've seen is four minutes long I haven't seen the full seven minutes in one sitting I've seen like parts I've seen the main like four minutes and then a parts of the other stuff, but um, I'm sure there's still stuff I haven't seen so I'm not really sure um, on like certain information about it um, How much map or what maps they played and that kind of stuff But it does look really really cool. The map we got to see was uh, like a Miami style map, which um, uh, It looks like it could have take place literally in uh, in this game Um but yeah, it looks really, really cool. I'm super excited. The graphics and everything look really, really good on there, even though it was leaked gameplay, which you guys got to tell me this in the comment section below. I'm sure you guys are wondering the same thing. Why does anytime there's any leaked gameplay come out, why does it look like it was recorded on a potato? It is 2020. There is no way you should be the most minimal you should be recording on is 720p and actually have like decent quality. I don't know why nobody that has like lead or that records leaks, like I don't know what the problem is with uh, with not um, recording it in good quality but yeah um, the video I watched the first one was like a really crappy quality one and then um, oh, that lady got pelted why would you even dare shoot us um, but yeah basically uh, the what was I even saying I already I like lost completely track of what I was talking about but anyway all right We'll keep the mission going on here. We did just kill Fidel, or as we believe it was Fidel. If you guys are like have never watched this campaign before and are just watching this for the first time, you guys are in for a treat, man. Treyarch is the GOAT when it comes to storylines. This is the first storyline in the Black Ops franchise, obviously. Um, and like after watching this, you guys are probably going to want to play through two and just like follow the storyline. And I'm hoping that, uh, well, obviously Woods and everything is going to be back. So this is basically, the new game is going to be a sequel uh, to this game. So... Um, I'm very excited to see where they take our characters like in between because obviously Black Ops 2 comes after um, The storyline of uh, this game and now obviously you're gonna be after Cold War. So I'm curious to see where they take the characters um, in um, Cold War before they before obviously they're seen in Black Ops 2 so It's gonna be interesting. I kind of like like I don't know if you guys have to let me know in the comment section below if you guys like this too but I kind of like when like movies or like games kind of like they have like their their franchise like movie what are these like lemons or something that was weird <laughs> um but i love like how like movies or games have like their normal storyline with like movies or whatever and then they go back and like fill stuff in like add to it to help kind of like tell the story a little bit better like i don't know i think it's like super cool so um i'm really excited that this year is going to be like kind of like a sequel game they're going to be kind of again setting up black ops 2 for us basically and the rest of the storyline that um that woods and uh mason and hudson uh kind of go through so it's gonna be really cool i'm actually a very very excited i mean like i am always every year for for cod um always but a little bit more excited this year too just because I, I love those characters and like seeing some familiar faces and stuff even though like this year with captain price it was kind of weird i don't know why they're not bringing back the original characters um, but they just they aren't there for even this year for modern warfare They brought back some other guy to do captain price, which I thought he did a pretty good job It's just like when after you play the games especially like me who's played the game for Like so many years and especially like playing modern warfare and all that back in the day And then this game back in the day too with the original voice actors It just sucks that they're not like they're they're still trying to use the the characters But they're not having like the same voice actors So it kind of like takes away takes you kind of out of it a little bit from like the story because it, it sounds a little bit different than what you're used to so Again, I don't know why they they didn't do it. Again, they didn't do it for Modern Warfare with Captain Price, and now this year they're not bringing back. I don't think any of the original characters. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it's pretty dang close. 
maybe Hudson, but I don't think so. I think they're all new voice actors for the characters. So, yeah, unfortunately, that's that's just how it is, man. That's just how it is, but made it to the airfield here. We got to get a little extract in. We're going to repel down here. We got some guys under us, I think. I don't know why I'm using RPK, but I picked it up, and I guess I am. But here we go. We're sprinting down the mountainside. Oh, no. Those are our guys. Okay. Oh, wrong button. My mouse and keyboard here. and not familiar with these controls, so I guess grenades that button. <laughs> oh, we got to get over to this plane. Oh, we're getting smoked. Run, Mason. Oh, my God. We are getting eaten RPGs. Anything under the sun here. I'm, I'm running, Carlos. And now I'm, like, stunned. I think my ears are blown out. Let me in. Check the plane. Oh, let's go, baby. An M60. I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, unlimited ammo, too. You'd love to see it. Woo! I'm not sure how this is unlimited ammo. It looks like I only have this one magazine on the side of the gun here. But, you know, we're, we're going to take it. I'm, I'm not going to complain about unlimited ammo. Looks like we do have a lot of people that are shooting at us, so we're going to need it. We're just going to literally lay on the trigger and just... <laughs> the explosions in this game just get me every time. It's just... It looks... It's the most unrealistic looking explosions. Like... <laughs> but I love it. I love it, man. This game came out in, I think, 2010, I want to say. So it's, it's up there. It's about 10... Just about 10 years old, which is just crazy to think. But... Yeah. I'm trying. How's this guy not dying? Oh, Mason the Psycho. Gotta clear the runway for our for our guys. No, get off the turret, Mason. You don't know what's coming. No. Ah, oh, and there it is, Mason. How could you? How could you do this? Oh, no. You're dead. We killed you. No. You killed a double. You think we didn't know of your plan? We always know. Do with him what you wish, General. This is my gift to you. In honor of our new relationship. Just make sure that he's suffering. Oh, Fidel's still no alive. Beyond his darkest Dragovich, baby. I have plans for you, American. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, he did. Dragovich sure did. Good old Dragovich, baby. Setup. They knew we were coming. That bastard Dragovich. The Russian. Yeah. He was behind everything. Where did Dragovich take you? To Russia. A labor camp. Oh, a hellhole called Vakuda. Oh my god. What did they do to you, Mason? What didn't they do? Hmm. Why didn't Castro just kill you? Why did he give you to Dragovich? Because Castro and Dragovich were working together. Yeah, you were a gift. Yeah. Right. Where did Dragovich take you? Fukuda. He had to fight. Just to survive. What happened in Fukuda, Mason? No, I was on my own. Almost a year. Frank Mason! What did they do to you? Giving up hope of ever getting out. But Victor Reznov found a way. 